Hello everyone, this is Gorax with a quick guide to the new arena. I know quite a lot of you are confused how it works. I know this video is kind of late, but I'll try to quickly explain to you what's happening here. This new arena implements a mechanic that is very common in most games where instead of well, we had grinding the points, getting higher on the ranking based on the points. The rankings are actually set in stone. What I mean is there's a rank one that you fight for and there are other ranks as well. It's not based on points, it's based on how strong you are and who you can defeat. So when you start your journey, you are at like rank 15,000 or whatever. And for the most part, you will be fighting against bots until you finally go to the high rank and find your enemies, players. Depends on the activity of your server, but I would expect you're gonna find those players around rank 1000. Uh, before we go how this works, I'll show you the rewards. And the rewards are really similar. To get the maximum Wyrm arrows per day, the rewards are daily now instead of weekly. You need to be within the top 300. But even if you are in the top 1000, you'll still get 30 Wyrm arrows daily. And below that, you'll get 20, 10, and whatsoever. But I don't think anyone here will be below this threshold, okay? I don't think there's more than 5,000 active players. And if you can't beat bots then yeah, you definitely deserve the rank you are on because the bots are also on the lower level compared to players. The other things that get increased is the arena gladiator seals and the affinity solvent. Affinity solvent is really important early in the seasons. It becomes useless later in the season. So this is why I'm not bothered about getting higher rank than this to get maximum gladiator seals and maximum weird marrow. And keep that in mind, you don't need to be rank one, you don't need to be rank six. 11 as long as you aim for the right reward and i think this is the most uh common reward that you want to get where marrow you'll be fine yeah so this is probably what you want to achieve now how you play this new arena so first things first set up the best defensive lay lineup sadly nothing's changed we're still playing against stall meta and as you can see i'm playing stall team to make sure whoever attacks me either draws out or just simply loses to few demur damage so set up your strongest defense make sure no one can beat you at least those who are behind you now a few ways to play that arena if you want to climb the ranks you need to move to the left as you can see you can scroll it you can side scroll it S surprising yes but quite a lot of people don't know that so if you want to climb your ranks you'll play and as you can see there's also people who are being challenged currently so it will show and it's quite cool because you know someone's fighting him and this might change so you might have an easier opponent here or harder as well so for example if i want to move rank 29 to a higher rank and you also get special rewards once once you get to your highest rank so i think my highest rank is like rank six so if i beat one of those guys i will get extra worm arrows so the first day you will see a big boost of worm arrows that will eventually drop to a single worm arrow per fight the tickets refresh daily instead of hourly and you can purchase uh, extra tickets for 10 wear marrow each but it's not really recommended because you will not have a return on investment really forget about it early season when you start yes you want to get the highest rank possible but later on you don't and it's quite cool because you don't need to worry about pvp there were players who enjoyed pvp and i feel sad for them because this change does not promote active pvp but it promotes other arenas to play on okay so that's important so if I want to move on to um, the next tier, I select an opponent. So let's pick that rank 24 uh, Dread Knight X. We can see his formation before we even play. We press play button and we look what he does and we play the fight. Um, I might lose because it's a Carf and um, Asketus, which are really, really OP. Um, there's a lot of damage on the enemy team, but hopefully my Theodemir will clean up. And as you can see, we did. So Fio Dimmer is OP on the arena with Fenja, but I'll talk about that composition and everything later on. As you can see, I moved to rank 19 straight in. I'm getting this generic one worm arrow and that's fine. I got my next rank and as you can see, everything updated and I have access to more opponents. I still can't fight the top five, top five until I get to top 10. But if you reached your highest rank and you can't progress because everyone else here is stronger than you, 
they added an amazing feature and this will help you with the ace events as well because this counts toward the points required you just go here you select the number of fights you want to do you challenge now you get the rewards now you'll get anyway if you win and you get the points basically and this is how you use your tickets daily if you want to climb the ranks if you want to fight people who are stronger than you you are free to do it just your tickets are limited so daily you will be able to do 10 free tries to climb the rank if you want to spend time if you want to spend your weird marrows you're free to do it and you can fight and if you lose you'll still get the same reward so it's worth doing it they really push the arena to be more uh, player friendly casual friendly than for those who are just basically uh, grinding it and sitting in front of a phone or pc as you can see exactly the same reward when i lose so yeah i really enjoy this obviously for those who are looking for more active pvp uh there's another arena champion arena that has been changed as well okay so you're no longer fighting against inspiration 5 players you're actually fighting against people within your own rank so it's quite fun i actually played it as you can see i even got higher rank than i ever did play in this game so that's three seasons so this is more enjoyable now. The queue is still quite high, but obviously it will change. And there's also free to free arena that is changed with 10 speed. So the fights are way faster and quite enjoyable as well. So tell me what you think about the new arena. And please let me know if this video was clear to you and you understood what this is about because yeah there's quite a lot of uh complaints on official discord basically people not understanding the new system and i hope this video clarified that for you i hope you enjoyed the video if you do please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel as always thank you for watching stay safe bye